Hello, Rupert here. Michael here, and this is another Prehistory Guys Prehistory Flash. Today we're looking at the extraordinary discovery of the earliest known shark attack victim ever found. The discovery was made by Professor Rick Schulting and PhD student J. Alyssa White from Oxford University when they were investigating skeletal remains of prehistoric hunter-gatherers at Kyoto University in Japan. All the remains being analysed were from a community burial ground and at first they couldn't understand what could possibly have caused such extreme injuries. They counted nearly 800 deep serrated injuries, mostly confined to arms, legs and the front of his body. It didn't take long to rule out violence from human aggression, so they began looking at the possibility of an attack by a wild animal. Enter George Burgess, Director Emeritus of the Florida Programme for Shark Research and, together, using forensic cases of shark attacks, they began piecing together the grisly event. Presumably judging by the location of the burial, the horrific event is thought to have happened in the Japanese waters of the Sito Inland Sea. Careful analysis revealed that the unfortunate victim died over 3,000 years ago, somewhere between 1370 and 1010 BC. He had lost his left hand and both of his legs had been bitten off, although they had recovered his left leg and placed it on top of his body when he was buried. Researchers looking into the teeth marks themselves believe that the culprit was either a tiger shark or a white shark. They also believe that, as his body seems to have been recovered pretty quickly, that maybe he was amongst a group of fishermen and the shark was attracted to the bait fish, or maybe they were fishing for sharks and this one got his own back. We will never know. <laughs> so there you are folks, short and sweet. The oldest shark attack victim ever found off the coast of Japan. Mm -hmm.